This is the last one, I promise. Unless you want me to keep going, I can do Steve and just keep going all night. Man really loves his dog and he decides, I've never had any children, I want a bar mitzvah my dog. Actually, this concept exists, they call it a bark mitzvah. It actually doesn't exist. So he goes to his Rebbe, he's an he's a observant man, he goes to his Rebbe, he says, Rebbe, I mean, I never had any children, I love my dog, I want you to bar mitzvah my dog. Rebbe looks at him and says, what are you, crazy? I can't, I, I, can't, I can't bar mitzvah a dog, what are you, he, just, he throws him out of his office. So he goes down the street to the next rabbi, he happens to be at the, uh, the conservative school, and this guy again gives the spiel, he says, Rabbi, I love my dog, I've never had any children, I want to bar mitzvah my dog. The rabbi thinks about it for a second, says, you know, I would do it. Not really sure what my board would say. I, I, I'm just going to have to pass. And so the man politely excuses himself and goes down the street down to the to the third rabbi. Don says, Rabbi, I love my dog. I want a bar mitzvah dog. Will you bar mitzvah my dog? And he says, No, I, I, I can't do it. But either the date's just not good for me. But I have an answer for you. He writes a name down on a piece of paper and he says, Go to this guy, put $10,000 on the table, and without question, he'll do it. No questions asked. Man opens up the paper and he's shocked. It's his Rebbe. <laughs> so he goes back to his Rebbe. He throws ten thousand dollars on the table and says, "Rebbe, bar mitzvah for my dog." The Rabbi says, "When should we make the date?" He says, "Whoa, whoa, I don't get this. I was here not three hours ago and you threw me out of your office. What changed?" He said, "You never told me the dog's mother was Jewish." <laughs> <laughs> Now I finished with my songs of love, but I see it wasn't